Hey guys, another video for today. Um, just a short one. Update on my uh, stock setup with the dual bore slide. I've been playing this a lot. I've just been trying to put hours in every day. And just kind of noticing differences between this and the box slides I had before. I've already talked about the articulations. Just being faster, just being easier to do. They just kind of leap out of the instrument. That is still the case. That is definitely not different. The one I think downside to the dual bore, and this is just a fact of all dual bores, and especially, I think, yeah, maybe not especially, but Edward's dual bore slides, is that these slots are now wider with no incentive other than your own will to be in the right spot. For instance, on a B flat. There's a huge space to play that fourth partial. You can play that in like a minor third, which is not the case on a Bach. Those slot pretty, they slot pretty heavily, I would say. It's kind of one place where the sound happens and nowhere else. But on this, you can make most of those different spots sound okay. That's why it's so easy to play out of tune with a kind of eh sound on an Edwards dual bore or just a dual bore in general. I hear this a lot in people that play like Getson 362s, 3062s, and uh, people on Edwards B454s that just don't have like quite the, the ear, the chops, the air. Lots of people like to play really out of tune and I can see why now because it's just so easy. There's so much room on every slot to do that. My problem has been playing that specific partial, the fourth partial, low. It's really easy to just kind of have the same set for the, the partial below, go up and you don't quite make it, but it feels good, that's the problem. It's so easy to lift that, and that might be a big drawback. Right now I haven't had a huge issue with it, as long as I'm aware and I know that it's there, I kind of think the slot needs to be just a little little more up than I want to think it is. On the Bach, you kind of can let that just go there because if you don't get to the slot, the right slot, it just doesn't sound good at all and you kind of just know it's wrong. The slots still sound good and that's, that goes for the lower partials too. get an entire whole step below the F, which is usually the case. I can even do that on the con, which has pretty well-defined and bad sounding edges of slots. Like if you get out of the slot, it just doesn't sound good at all and you need to get back to the real slot. And the problem here is that it's not as resonant and it's obvious it's not the real sound, but you can make that, uh, that different note sound okay. <laughs> And that's, I think, uh, actually a problem with this because you can get away with playing out of the slot so easily. You can play notes in literally the wrong position and get, eh, you know, like an acceptably crappy sound instead of right in the middle of the slot. <laughs> Obviously, it sounds really great when I hit it right in the middle of the slot. It just rings. The entire horn vibrates much more than it did before, actually. But it's just so easy to not do that. And I think that's something I'm going to have to work on. Um, as long as my ears are aware, my chops are aware, I think I'll be okay. But I've, I see this issue in a lot of people to play this kind of really large equipment. Especially with a large mouthpiece like the Greg Black I'm using right now. Um, otherwise, I'm super happy with this. The low range on this thing is just literally to die for. I've never had a horn or a setup, including this one with other slides, that I could just nail that B to the wall with just this huge sound. It's not like this thin, like, chainsaw kind of thing. It's nothing like that. It's just huge. It doesn't sound like a tuba. It still has that the trombone, core of the sound, that edge. 
But man, it just feels so good. The pedals also have this presence to them. I can play the same notes on my Con 60H pretty well. Um, they back up a little more than they do on this, obviously. But this, the sound goes everywhere. I can feel this entire room going when I play like pedal E flat, pedal C. And I haven't really had that feeling out of an instrument in a long time, if ever. So that's pretty cool. I'm really, really happy with this setup. The high range also has just a little more sparkle than it used to. Everything just has more of this, just that little sparkle, that little edge. And the edge, in this case, is not really a bad thing, it's just kind of like an indicator of that trombone sound I like to feel. Um, the Bach can kind of just sound a little diffused, a little too, oh, oh, instead of, Da, da, which can be an issue. You don't want to sound like euphonium or baritone or something up there. So yeah, just a little update on my horn. Super happy with it. Just the, just those slots, just a little too open. Something I got to work with. See you guys next time.